Hello and welcome to React.js, building production ready apps. My name is Nelson Lacay, and in this series, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go start to finish and build an actual production ready application using the React View Library by Facebook. Now, the way I put this course together, it is not necessary that you have used React at all previous to watching this course. And the purpose of this course, the reason why I wanted to put it together in the particular way that I did, is because a lot of, a lot of training on React just shows small one-off example applications where you don't get to see the full, the full picture of how React fits into a proper application. And that's slightly problematic, especially with React, because while React does a lot of fantastic stuff for us and helps us write clean and maintainable code for our clients, React itself doesn't actually provide a lot of the other necessary things that you need in order to make an application. So one thing that people often get tripped up on when learning React is not seeing how it fits into the big picture. How does it interact with your model code, with your API endpoints, with maybe a socket IO connection? And so in this course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with zero, nothing, and we are going to build up a proper production application, both the server and the client and the build system, and then eventually deploy it right to Heroku. Alrighty, so now let's talk about what it is we're gonna build. We are gonna build a clone for Cards Against Humanity. Now, Cards Against Humanity, I don't, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It's a, it's a card game for, for terrible people. And uh, it's a very, very popular card game. And we're gonna put together a clone for it using Socket.io and Express, Reactive Extensions, and React. So what we'll be able to do is we'll have this lobby and we'll be able to create games join the individual games, select which card sets that we want to play with, and then start the game. Now, if you've never heard of Cards Against Humanity before, the premise is very simple. Every round will have a black card that has X amount of blanks in it. And then what you do is every round you pick one to three of the cards that are in your hand to play. So if I were to go ahead and play on play uh, that card on that page and then play that card on that page now both players have played and now the card czar which is a different player every round chooses which card wins the round based off of whatever arbitrary uh, criteria that person has um some people go with the with the most awful thing that they can see some people like meta jokes and so on so on and then once they pick a particular card then that person wins and gets a point, and then the next round starts with a new card czar. So this is the application that we are going to be building. And it's fantastic because it gives us a lot of opportunity to play around with a bunch of different concepts in React and see how they all fit together. If you want to check out this, this game, uh, as it is right now, as it will be if you follow along with this course, just head on over to cards.nelsonlacay.com. I have this hosted on a free Heroku hosting, and it should be available at any time, and you can check it out for yourself. This course is broken down into four sections. The first section is a React primer, where we'll take a look at what React is, what it does, and what it doesn't do, establish core concepts, and establish the terminologies that we're going to be using throughout the rest of the course. So it's not very long because, to be honest, the API surface of React is very small, so there's not a whole lot to discuss. But there are core things we have to sort of solidify and understand before we continue with the rest of the application. The second section is the build, uh, the build setup, the build workflow, our asset pipeline. We're going to be using Webpack, Babel, Gulp, SAS, and so forth in order to put together a build system that will allow us to use React in our applications. And most importantly, give us a fantastic developer workflow as well as a fantastic production build pipeline. Now, I already have a course that covers a lot of that stuff in this section in more detail. And it's called Using Modern JavaScript Today. I cover Gulp, Webpack, and so on in far more detail than I do in this section. However, if you haven't used Gulp or Webpack before, you sh will still be able to follow along, understand what's going on, and build that pipeline. Now, 
I do recommend people follow through and type out everything they see on the screen. That's really the only way that a lot of the stuff is going to solidify. But if you've already written a thousand Webpack configuration files, I do include a starter project that has all of the build asset pipeline already in place and ready for the next section. And speaking of the next section, the next section is our client. The client, that's where we're going to be mostly working with React, building our components, our hierarchy, putting together our, our or integrating with our React router. We are also going to be establishing our client-side architecture, which is going to be using Reactive Extensions, or RxJS. But in the client code, we won't have to have an implementation of the game code on the server yet. Because of the way React is, and because of the way we're going to architect it, we'll be able to use dummy data to build up the client without having to have a server already implemented. So once we're done with the client and it's fully functional, then we move on to the server. And in this section, we establish the server-side architecture as well as the actual game logic that is going to power the entire game. Then the application is ready. Then we spend the last video preparing it for deployment to Heroku, and then we're done. I highly recommend you type everything out. This course will give you a lot of confidence in writing production quality React applications. That is the purpose of this video series. And you will only get that if you follow along and type things out. With that, I really don't have much more to say. Other than I really hope you guys enjoy the series as much as I did putting it together. I think that it is a fantastic opportunity for people to see how all of these discrete things can fit together in a cohesive goal and produce an interesting product. So, stuff and things. Let's go ahead and get started.